All right, so this will hopefully be kind of a master class in exporting. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably not going to get to all the types of exporting that I could get into, but I want to focus on um, some of the main export pieces that I'm working on for my workflow. And, excuse me, the... Um, the process here is from Rococo Studio. So if I've recorded some motion capture, for example, if we go want to go from Rococo to iClone, and then from iClone to Cascader, and then from Cascader back to iClone. And the goal is to end up either in Blender or, you know, if you're doing Blender to another another place, you could do that. But um, yeah, part of the challenge here is that you know, Rococo Studio is great for recording motion capture, but of course we, it doesn't let us edit stuff. iClone is great for facial animation and also has some other powerful features, but it doesn't have super powerful cleanup features. And then Cascader comes in handy for some powerful cleanup and hands-on animation, um, really some, some manual animation. And then, of course, we want to bring it back into iClone to finally export things all back into Blender. We could potentially do it from Cascader, but you also have the facial animation. Um, oh, and I should mention, I think Cascader now has finger auto-posing. I'm not going to get into all that today. But <laughs> needless to say, it's a lot of pieces, and it took me a long time to get into how to do it. It's easy to for something to go wrong. And I may not be able to cover all the troubleshooting, but I want to cover as much as I can. So let's let's get into things here. So let's say I have a piece of animation and I want to export it. Well, um, and I, I uh, plan to have in the description for this video some links to other videos that showcase you know how I learned how to get things working correctly. Um, so. Step one is you want to make sure this is set to Mixmo, and this becomes a little bit confusing later. But uh, let's let's make sure this is set to Mixmo, and even though all the defaults are locked, this is pretty much going to give us what we need. Um, frame rate's thirty, unless you're doing something like uh, I guess that could be a problem if you're doing gaming. But in our case, because the goal is to you know end up at 24 FPS, that's not necessarily going to be a big deal. But you know you can certainly unlock these if you pay for the paid version. All right, so I'm going to export this as a clip. There we go. I'm going to open the folder, and so we have our newest. Well, let's see. That should be this right here. Our newest FBX file. Cool. Yeah, just double checking. But that's our FBX. And I'm not actually going to really use this, but this is just for the purpose of um, demonstration. So switching over to iClone, I'm going to select this character just so we have it highlighted. I'm going to open this and drag and drop our newly created um, FBX file here. And the trick with this is you actually want to set it to Motion Builder, which is really confusing, but that's how you want to do it. And you want to set the T-Pose to that same file. And yeah, we can convert to, you know, and everything else I think should be the same. Um, I'm starting with 60 FPS so that I can do the lip syncing, but then I convert that to 24 FPS. This is a complaint about, I think, the naming convention, but, um, and the problem with this is that if we start moving this around, we'll see that the arm is going haywire. And the legs are actually doing okay. The arm is going haywire. All right. Why is this? Well, my understanding is it's because on this first frame here, the arms are basically straight and Cascader can't solve for the IK. And so it's confused and where the arms are supposed to be pointing. So the way to fix this, um, and I have not tested this <laughs> completely. I have tested, tested this in part. We're going to try open a new project and, uh, 
Hope that this works. If not, I'll be re-recording this. Um, import, and we want to import our latest avatar of the character. So we have this. The knees may not be bent enough, but we will be able to hopefully fix the arms. So I'm going to export this. And we really just need the current frame. And we'll, yeah, we'll go with 3ds Max. Again, checking the, checking here. In fact, uh, just just for sanity reasons. Um, in fact, I, th I think you'll, you'll notice there, for whatever reason, uh, Preserve Bone Names is now unchecked for whatever reason. And I think that's actually a pretty, pretty important part of how to make this work. So yeah, we wanna make sure that that's done. We can ignore textures. And I am going to go into my uh, let's see, animation projects, and we will, uh, I'm going to actually create a folder here, and we will name this John 3 for the version, and save. So far, so good. So I'm going to go back to Cascader and open a new scene. I'm going to go ahead and set the frames to 24 and we're going to try to import that and see if we get better results. So this is going to be in avatars and we're going to import this. Now you may wonder, you know, is it worth it to export to all these programs? Well, because of some of the advanced features that each one offers, Especially because retargeting an iClone really is just you, th you throw the FBX on and you make a few changes. iClone really helps and then Cascader helps. So we're going to say yes, 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 yes. Again, having the preserved bone names are really important. It might complain about the bones. Um, looks like the knees might be bent enough. So we're going to try to import our animation for this. Um, also, one thing I've noticed is that if you're trying to move, scroll back and forth, um, you know, we, we imported about, like I said, it's about 3,000 frames. Uh, if you start scrolling back and forth, uh, Cascader, I think, has crashed on me a good bit. I, I don't know if it's designed to handle that many frames at once, but if we narrow our timeline, then we should uh, be able to do a little bit better. And there we go. No weird popping. Um, we certainly have some issues in the animation quality itself, but uh, that's of course why is why we're using <laughs> Cascader to clean that up. And then the idea is we clean this up, we make adjustments. I'll just give a sample here. Um, like the head uh, starts here and then drops down. I'm going to Uh, clear these keyframes and add an in between. There we go. So now we get pretty much the same result, but now it's all should all you know. This is not something that that will be super apparent here, but um, we should clear any jitter out just by doing that. And of course, you know, uh, this is, you know, cleanups beyond the scope of this, this video. Um, if you're interested in that kind of video, um, because that, that may be one of the, mm, maybe one of the most important parts of, uh, the workflow that I'm developing going forward. If you're interested in that, that, uh, video, please comment below asking for that video specifically. Okay. So now we're going to export our scene. Uh, we probably could do it without meshes, but I'm just going to do it with, um, and then this is just a test. So I'm going to export it as such. This will again, because, uh, well that exported pretty fast. So let's, let's see if that works. I'm going to go here, open our original project. Okay. So one of the ways we can check to make sure this worked, um, again, switching over to 24 FPS because that's gonna be our target at the end of this. Um, well, actually I say that, 
we may we may not do that quite yet because in this theoretical workflow um, I haven't uh, added the full facial features yet which we might want to do in 60 FPS um, I'm not sure that it matters quite as much as the the lip syncing but we'll just we'll just do this just for the sake of, of trying it and then we're going to go to the animation projects and we are going to drop this back on our character uh, okay so it looks like we have this FBX in the T pose we actually want to clear that and do current character and then convert what you want to do apparently and there may be a better even cleaner option for this but is you want to delete the keyframes on this first transform option for the X Y and Z and also for the rotation X Y and Z you want to delete those and also for the Z position so that's pretty much it for this video as you can see um, Kind of convoluted, but uh, as I show Cascader, I mean, really, uh, iClone's iClone's uh, lip syncing and facial features are, are pretty pretty self-explanatory and why they're so powerful. But uh, Cascader may be a little bit trickier to explain until you see it in action and see the advantages as for tweaks and cleanup and so forth. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty pretty much it. Um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking this video, uh, sharing this video with your friends, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.